hello, this is Mystic Mohawk and I come to you today with a comic read. So the comic is currently in an energy where she's getting her feelings hurt. She's currently in the energy of what she's did to you has currently been done to her. So she's in an energy now where she feels like, damn, instead of hating on Divine Feminine and doing all those spiteful things to her, I should have got with her to figure out how does she heal, how does she overcome the masculine. So let's just get right into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today. We come to you today in the spirit of knowing what energies are the comic in. Since she's now hurting, Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, please give us, please, oh please, give us the downloads, the messages that you would like to hear about the karmic. Okay. So what are the energies that the karmic is currently in? So, the comic is currently in an emperor energy. However, that emperor energy is in the reverse. And when the emperor energy is in the reverse, the emperor energy is in a lack, a lack of maturity, a lack of self-control. This emperor may be pushy, domineering, maybe also a bully. And at the current at the current moment, may have lost his social or power or prestige. Okay. Okay. So we have the magician energy, and when one is in the magician energy, they are in a selfish energy. They are in a manipulative, a relentless, and pursuit of money. They may be also in the pursuit of power and trying to control others with deceitful practices. Okay. Okay, so we have the three of wands and one is in the three of wands energy. That is an energy of no clarity. That is an energy of a give and a take. That is an energy of rejections and decisions may have been made harshly. All right. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we want to know... What is going on over there in Comic Town? Why she feel like, you know, she should have got with Divine Feminine. She should have figured out what was going on with Divine Feminine. Because now the same hurt that she wished on Divine Feminine, she is now feeling this hurt. So the comic wants to know, what is the energy? We want to know, what is the current energy of the comic? Dang, instead of hurting Divine Feminine, she like, I should have got with Divine Feminine to see how she got over this painful, hurtful situation. Please give us some clarity. Give us some clarity. Holy Spirit, we would like to know what is the energies of the comic at the current moment? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what are the energies of the comic at the current moment? The current, the comic is currently in the energy. It's in the reverse, however. The comic is currently in A. She's currently in a balanced energy. She feels like the energy that she's currently in is currently not working for her. So she's trying to find balance. She's trying to find truth. She's trying to figure out, why did this happen to me? Okay. No, that came in the reverse. What are the other enemies? Energies. Damn, enemies. So the comic is currently in a projection energy. She's looking back. She's saying, what did I do wrong? Why did this, why did this man do these things that he did to me? Oh, okay. Let me tell you why he did these things that you did to me. 
Oh, because he's currently one that currently gives out cups of opium, knowing he's not going to follow through with it. He's going to give you his cup of his opium. He's going to let you sit from it for a little while, and he's going to take it back, and he's going to go, and he's going to give it to someone else. But honey, let's just start with you, Karmic. You're in an energy of projection, and you're trying to figure out why these things happen to you in the background. For starters, you felt like you were taking something from someone karmic. You felt like you was taking divine masculine from divine feminine. But you forgot to realize, darling dear, what you do to others, it shall. And it will come back to you. It's called a thing called karma. And see, what you did was you overdid your karma. So now you're receiving karmic retribution because you overdid it. You tried to play the divine by doing magic and all those things that you did. So you definitely getting fucked. Oh. And she knows. She knows. She knows that divine feminine is currently in the energy where she's saying, baby, this thing is dead. This thing has come to a complete end. In. I no longer want to be bothered with divine masculine. I have left him alone. And Carmen, you're over there in Comic Town. He has now left you alone. Your relationship was dead. So all of that magic, hateful gossip, spiteful jealousy, envy ways, copycat ways, it got you nowhere, honey. But by yourself and in a dead relationship. Okay. What are the other entities that she in? Oh, she knows she's terminated. So the karmic is currently in the energy where she knows that divine masculine has currently moved on to another. And she has been left in a in the dirt by her spell. So her spells, her idolatry magic, nothing worth the lies, the deceit. Oh. Oh. Somebody is feeling really hurt right now. You're fired. You're terminated. They no longer want you. So now, Missy Pooh is now in an energy where she feel betrayed. Where she feel like she's been put in a third party situation. And now her feelings is hurt. Everything that she did to you, Divine Feminine, she's now currently feeling it. And what are those energies? Oops. Oops, these two wanted to fall out, so let them fall. What are these two? Oh, shit. So the comic, <laughs> she was in the energy where she felt like she had the masculine bound. She had him under her spell. She had him doing everything that she wanted him to do. And now he says, oh, no, bitch. I'm out this shit. It's time for me to go find another. It's time for me to get another narcissistic supply. You're not doing your job, comic. So I have to go find another to work my magic on. So now she's in an energy where she has kicked the masculine out. Because he's now in a third party with another. So all the drama that she brought to you, Divine Feminine... Is now being brought to her. The tearjerker. The pump and dump. It's now being done to her. And she don't like it. Got to stand up on this one. Mm, somebody is mad. They upset because they didn't get shoes. Oh, God. Who is that person that's mad that they didn't get chose? Okay. So someone is really in an energy where they're hurt. They're broken hearted. They can't take this upheaval of pain. They can't take this upheaval of third parties. They don't like to be put in rejection mode. So they're now going to see a therapist. They just can't take it. Your level of strength, Divine Feminine, they didn't have. So they're going to see someone. So they're asking themselves, how did Divine Feminine get over this hurt? How did she get over this pain? This is really a strong person here. You got damn right. You got damn right. 
and she's submerged in her emotions because she can't take that her masculine that she spent all that money on to try to get that she faked and fraud for and chased clout for to try to get and when her mask came off and he found out she was one of them fake bitches he rolled out to the next one okay because divine masculine he knew that this shit was fake the grass was not greener on the other side, says Divine Masculine. So I'm going to leave this fake bitch with her mask on. And I'm going to go find another. All right. And this could have happened around Christmas time. That Divine Masculine seen that mask and said, Oh no, I'm about to hot trot it on over to my Uber bus. I'm about to get the fuck out of here. I don't want to be over here with the B2, two, the B2 Terminator 2 hair, this hair-headed hooligan. I don't want to be over here with this hair-headed hooligan. She made me gonna act a fucking fool again. And made me put my motherfucking tool again. Hair-headed hooligan. Hair-headed hooligan. He said, hell, oh no. To the no, no, no. I'm leaving this bitch. This bitch don't cook, she don't clean, all she worrying about is looking cute, all she worrying about is her status on Facebook, she don't want to get her ass up and work, all she's concerned with is materialistic things, I got to get up out of here. What else did Divine Masculine say? What else did he say, honey, to this one here? He said, access is denied, girl. Your key card is no longer valid in Divine Masculine's heart. I no longer want to be a part of Tommy the Tuna. I want no more of Tammy the Tuna. Access denied. I'm going to go get me another supply. That thing's smelling a little funky down there. Tammy? Tammy? Hey, Tammy! Tammy the Tuna, that thing isn't right down there. It said the other day you need to go get a pap smear, Tammy the Tuna. That thing isn't right. That's probably why the masculine went over to someone else. That thing isn't right. Because remember, you a hole on the floor, and you always opening up the goddamn door. Open up the goddamn door, not the goddamn door. Your goddamn legs, that's what you always opening. Hey, and Divine Masculine said, girl, I got to roll out, roll out. You got too much going on with you, girl. I see through this fog. Take that mask off, girl. You faking fraud. It's time for me to go, says Divine Masculine. Okay, what else? And Divine Masculine said, it's time for me to go, girl. It's time for me to cleanse my space. Cleanse myself because you put the hooju booju on me and it's time to roll out. Go juju, go ju go, go juju, go ju go, go juju, go ju go. That's what the bi masculine said. He said, "Girl, take that juju and go go. I'm about to be out." Deuces. You done did too much magic on me, girl. It's time for me to go look for another girl. We ain't doing that. We about to proceed with caution. Yellow light, proceed with caution. Not yet, stop it yet, but proceed with caution. Because, girl, you got issues beyond issues. If you sit over here and you try to do mask it, magic, mask it, magic. On Divine Masculine, and he said, Oh, no, nah, girl, it's time for me to roll out. Proceed this thing with caution. I cannot stay long because, girl, you got a codependency on me, girl. You always depending on me for money. Only time you try to act big is around the first of the month when you get your SSI or your state funded AFDC check, girl. Other than that, you blast, blast, kiss my ass. That's what you doing the rest of the month, girl. You codependent on me. You need me to do everything for you, says Divine Masculine. But between the 1st and the 15th of the month, you that bad bitch. But I cannot be your benefactor, so I am going, you are going to stop being codependent on me because I'm about to leave your ass, says Divine Masculine. What else other energies is the masculine? 
Mm. The, my, the masculine said, girl, you need guidance. It is something wrong with you. You need, it's a, it is a good thing, comic. I am glad that you are seeking therapy because you realize that it's something really going on with you. I'm glad that you are doing that. I'm glad, comic, that you are seeking therapy and you're really realizing that it's something going on with you. However, the by masculine says it's something going on with you too and you need to see God. Therefore, girl, I am going to roll out of this situation because you have a lot of things going on with you mentally and I can't help you out. Oh, and at the bottom of the deck, we got divine masculine is looking for an upgrade. He don't think you're good enough for him, girly. He wants to upgrade. He wants to do a control or delete on that ass. Because he wants to go get him another. So he going to control or delete on that ass. It's time for me to find another supply on that ass. What else is Divine Masculine to say? Oh my God, Divine Masculine. You did not just tell this girl really that you want to get an upgrade. Yes, he did, girl. He said, I want to upgrade, girl. You doing too much over there. Ooh, because he said, I'm leveling up. I know I could do better than you, girl. I'm leveling up because I knew that I should not have left Divine Feminine for this facade that you put on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out here and I'm going to try to get one. That's a level up than you and make one to be like Divine Feminine. Damn, you're doing a lot of things, says Divine Masculine. With your ding -a Damn, you got plans on your ding -a Damn, I ain't no... Damn, niggas make plans on their ding -a Damn, you just gonna upgrade it. Make a bitch. Oh, God, you just gonna make one. You'll be like Divine Feminine. Sweetheart, let me tell you this right now. No, you can't make one and be like Divine Feminine. The key word in front of her name is Divine. Only the Divine can make her a Divine Feminine. So you can stop trying to get your bras and trying to make a bitch. Stop trying to make a bitch into Divine Feminine. You can't make her. It's only one of her. The grass grows underneath of her feet. They grow underneath of her feet. Her feet, divine feminine, they grow under your feet. You can't be duplicated. So why he trying to make somebody be like you? I don't know. You can't make nobody be like divine feminine. Oh, he want to make, oh, this is what he want to make. So Divine Feminine is a humorous one. She always got something funny to say, you know, all the time. So he trying to make his new booze to be like you, to be humorous like you, to have your energy, to have your loving, to have your spirit, all those healing things that you do. He trying to make a bitch. Damn. I ain't hot to see. That is the Divine Masculine narcissistic behavior. Okay, so... You go and you be a narcissistic, okay? A narcissistic person, right? Then you leave one to get another supply. So you try to make your new supply, quote unquote, your upgrade be better than the comet, but you trying to make her in the image of divine feminine. Something wrong with you, masculine. Get yourself together, boy. You can't make a bitch. Only God that going divine our Heavenly Father can make a female. And every female is not a divine feminine. Just like every man is not a divine masculine. See, what you trying to sit over here and make a bitch, you a comic male. You ain't no divine masculine. Put some respect on her name and you ain't divine. Get your ass back. Get your ass back down there, Divine Masculine. You can't make a bitch. I'm a make a divine. No. Can't do that. Can't do that. What else is Divine Masculine trying to do with his little stank self? I'm a make a divine. Mm. Say.
so someone is in a block male energy. Someone has did something that they didn't have no business doing and now they have something over someone's head. Would that be our comment? See, this is why people don't like you, Carmen, because you do sneaky little stuff like this. You know, you try to blackmail people to always try to get one up on you. Then you try to figure out why somebody don't like you, why somebody trying to leave you. It's because you a damn comic and you don't know how to act. You don't have no boundaries with your ass. Mm, 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 mm. So, uh, this divine masculine in his personal quest of seeking new people, women, friendships, third parties, entanglements, all those things that he do, he gonna make a bitch that have his sexual fantasies that he want. He gonna make a bitch do the ring of the ding dong. Ding dong ding, ring the ding dong. Ding dong ding, ring the ding dong. Ding dong ding, he gonna make them play with his ding a ling. He gonna make a bitch play with his ding a ling the way he wanna play a bitch to play with his ding a ling. He gonna make a bitch laugh and be divine feminine. You ain't dealing with no goddamn robot over here. This ain't I robot. You can't make a bitch do what you wanna make her with. See, that's the problem with you, divine masculine, and that's why you can't get in no stable relationship because you're too busy trying to control and make somebody what you wanna make somebody. No, you accept somebody for what they are and you roll with the punches. You don't try to make a bitch do your sexual fantasy. You don't try to make a bitch funny. You don't try to make a bitch level up to your standards. You don't try to make a bitch upgrade to your standards. You don't make a bitch seek guidance to what motherfucking path you want them to walk on. That's why you ass by yourself. That's why you have all these problems going on with women because you don't want to accept the, what poop and what people have to bring to offer because you're too busy trying to control them and make them into something that you want to be them in. So you need to get yourself together. So what if somebody say they don't want a, a liar and a cheater, a cheater, a bottom feeder? What if they say they don't want you? Lying, cheating, being in entanglements, and all those things that you did. What if you meet a woman that want to make you into the nigga that they, or the man that they want? Not a liar, not a cheater, not one that think with their penis, that one that have a low IQ anyway, that think that their penis supposed to get them out of situation, not a captain of the cum squad that feel like his majesty will get him out of wonders, that he feel like the fem will do whatever they want to do because you have something in between your legs that she likes, excuse me. There's something called toys. There's something called the Energizer Bunny with a battery, sweetie. You can be replaced. Everybody don't. Everybody is not a bed back like the man, like the the comet. You know, everybody don't need you for sexual fulfillment. Everybody don't need you for money. See, she did what she did to get you where she wanted. Then when she got what she wanted, the true person came out. Okay. Let me shut up about this makeup, bitch. Yes, because you sitting over here trying to make somebody into what you want them to be and control them when your ass got skeletons in your closet. You can't control nothing but your own ass, divine masculine. The only thing that you can control is keeping your dick in your pants and you haven't controlled that so far because if you wouldn't, you wouldn't be in a goddamn third party with the comic, you fucking tear jerker. That's what you do. You sit over here and play with yourself thinking about Divine Feminine because she don't want you no more. Then you go out here and you be in these third parties and try to get these females to be like Divine Feminine. No, you should have act right in the first beginning and we wouldn't be having this conversation about a Divine Feminine leaving your ways. How about that? You got them. And why is y'all obsessed with me? I don't really know. Yes, girl. He
he is so obsessed with you because you do not want to be bothered with him. You do not want to be bothered with his third parties. You do not want to be his pump and dump. Pump and dump. Pump and dump. She do not want to be your pump and dump. She do not want to be bothered with you. And he has a big, 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 big problem with that because you don't want to be bothered with him. What else do he have a problem with? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else do he have a, 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 a problem with? What else do this Divine Masculine have a problem with? With the film? Oops. Is he have a problem with... He have a problem with Divine Feminine. If you are one that are in school, you are healing yourself, you are into one of yourself. He do not like the fact that you are healing yourself. He do not like the fact that you are studying. He do not like the fact that you are bettering yourself. You are into meditation, healing, grounding yourself, and reading our Bible. He do not agree with those things because guess what? You are healing yourself. And he wants you to be in a stagnant, stuck situation energy. However, you are not in that energy. You have your mind made up. You know what you want. And it's not him and his bullshit. How about that? Mm-hmm. Mm. And he said he at his breaking point with your ass. Because you should have stopped that bullshit a longer time ago. You should not have been stubborn. He's at his breaking point. He tired of dealing with you and your shit and your goddamn stubborn ass ways. Divine feminine. He said get your shit together. You should have talked to him by now. It wouldn't be no other bitches if you would talk to him. <clears throat> and at the bottom of the deck, we have stubborn. Still, Divine Masculine is currently in his stubborn ways because he's saying your ass was supposed to talk to him by now. You always the one that give in first. Why you ain't gave in now, girl? What is going with you? You must be into something with somebody else because you ain't came it over his way yet. You ain't took him over block yet. What is going on with the communication? Because there is none with you. Okay. And Divine Feminist says, screw you, nigga. Oops. Sorry. I didn't mean to say that word. Sorry. Not screw you, the, the N-word. Sorry. 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 Screw you, man. Screw you, man. I'm doing growth right now. I'm not thinking about you. I am grounding myself. I am getting into my spirituality. I am getting my mental growth together. I am getting myself together. I am doing my spiritual growth. I am growing. I am healing. I am not thinking about you and your problems. Hey. Hey. And he said he is trying. He is mirroring the similar experience. He lying, girl. He's saying he healing. He getting himself together. He going through the dark night, the dark night of the soul. Girl, he just saying that shit to get back in your goddamn pain. And he's stuck in the past. He's stuck there. He will not go nowhere. Whatever energies that you gave him, baby girl, he is still in. He is not trying to let them go. And he like, why is you being a little Miss Stubborn Pants? Why you being a Shawnee Stubborn Pants? Shawnee, why you over there being a goddamn Shawnee Stubborn Pants? Your ass was supposed to be talking to him by now, Divine Feminine. You always give it first. You always let him have his way. What is this sudden change that your ass just started just recently? It must be somebody else. It must be something that you doing. You must have friends and you loving your single life. Because you not giving him a chance. And he not used to you telling him no. What else he not used to? Yes. What else is he not used to? No, we don't want to do these. We want to know because we just took over your reading comic. Divine Masculine just took it on over, girl. He just took it on over, girl. He got a lot of things to say. Mm. Yeah, let's put these back because Divine Masculine come out the... Oh, that's one on for that. Oh, okay. 
So Divine Masculine says, girl, you are a keeper bully. You know you cannot fight. You know that you cannot fight. And you know that you be starting stuff. You be starting stuff with people. And you sit behind that keyboard. And you know you're not going to do nothing. So you need to stop it. And Divine Masculine said, you also a habitual line stepper. That's all you do is overstep your boundaries. And you act like you have none. Damn. Divine Masculine? Oh, this one wanted to fall out too. And Divine Masculine said he now know that all those things that you told him was a bunch of lies. Because, girl, you don't have nothing to offer him but your body. And that ain't nothing. But Divine Masculine, you need to shut up because the comics sitting over there saying, shut your ass up, Divine Masculine, because you ain't no better than me. Because you are a freaking hobosexual. Uh, um, you don't like to pay no bills, Divine Masculine, over over there in the comic community all you want to pay is your telephone bill so that you can get in contact with your bitches okay okay that's what the comic said <laughs> what Ooh. oh and our divine says so common since you want to snap your hands at people our divine says to you honey darling dear you are going to be facing judgment for doing that little Dollar Tree magic that you did on Divine Feminine. What do you have to say about that, <coughs> darling dear? Oh, our Divine said, your plans has backfired, stank ho. Your spells has backfired, honey. Call me Karen. 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 Your spells has backfired, Comic Kern. Mm. Our Divine wants you to know that she is a shady, envious bitch. She's a shady, envious bitch that is under judgment at the current time. And our Divine, our Divine Heavenly Father wants us to know that the Comic ran that relationship. Yes. I run the masculine. Okay, we know you run him, girl, with your spells and all your things that you do. Oh, and our divine wants us to know that the comic got a comic. So divine masculine got two damn comics. Two damn, the comic, comic versus comic. He got a new third party. Okay. My ding a ling, my ding a ling, everybody play with his ding a ling, his ding a ling, his ding a ling. He want everybody play with ding a ling a ling. Damn, the comic versus the comic. He got a new third party. Oh, you keep that ding a ling wet. That dingling, stay wet, boy. That dingling, that thing, stay wet. Ring a -le ding dong, ding dong, ding, ring a -le ding dong, ding dong, ding, ring a -le ding dong, ding dong, ding. He wants you to play with his ding a ling, a ding a -le ding dong, ding dong, ding, ding a -le ding dong. Ding dong, ding, 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 ding dong. Ding dong, ding. He wants you to play with his ding a ling. And it was not so long. She packed her bag. She said she get hell no. She packed her bags, no bottom feeders. She said go be with the bottom feeders. Ring the ding dong. Ding dong, ding, ring the ding dong. Ding dong, ding, ring the ding dong. Ding dong ding. You want everybody to play with ding a ling. Yes, this one here. Why? You already left a third party with Divine Feminine. Then you get in a comic relationship with the comic. Now you in another relationship with another comic. You just love drama, don't you, Divine Mask? Boy, you need the dick patch. Put that motherfucker on your own. 
You know that patch that they give y'all horny ass men that can't stop having sex with people? Put that patch on your arm. Or maybe put it on your ass. Put it on your ass. Put the patch on your ass. Put it on your ass. Put it on your ass. Maybe that'll stop you from having sex. Put it on your ass. Put it on your ass. Put it on your ass, divine mass man. You need the motherfucker pussy patch. That's what the hell you need. You need the pussy patch. Because that's all you seem to do is have sex. No wonder in the beginning your ass had that goddamn magician called. Because that's all you want to do is use your goddamn majesty. That's all you know. Now, when your ass get old and Viagra don't help your ass and your eggplant don't get hot, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do then? Okay, anyway, you, you just getting off taste. Back on taste. Okay. So, at the bottom of the deck, Divine Masculine, this is why he have those problems because he like, give me that hood right to go. Hey, oh, hey, oh. Give me that hood bread to go. Eh oh, eh oh, eh oh. Give me that hood bread to go. That's what he likes. See, this is why he gets in those problems and those entanglements with the kind of women that he likes. He likes those kind of women that star stuff, get loud, get in entanglements, don't know how to act when they out in the streets want to get loud give shows have an audience all those things give me that hood right to go that's the kind of female that he right oh and she said divine hammering she want to see you angry boo she want to know why all this time you over there faking, laying back on your styles like you don't want to approach her and say nothing to her. Girl, bye, because she don't have time for you. Real women don't sit there and fight over women, over men. Real women proceed. We work on ourselves. We don't focus on other women. We focus on getting our asses together and our shit together. And, you, and we continue to let... You bottom feeder whores, watch us shine, do our thing, heal, and be divine feminine. Because what? She said because she liked drama and confusion. She said, I like drama and confusion, divine feminine. And your man, your so-called man that I took from you, he let me take advantage of him. He, she let me take advantage of him because my head gained some fire. But let me tell you, your head game must not be too much of all your honey. And your wet-ass pussy, that why it must not be too mad. It must be going through a C-hera period because, um... You're in a third party. You're a karmic that's in a third party entanglement. So your head game must have only been temporary with the mask on to bait him in. Okay? But it must not be too good because he has another. All right. All right. Mm. And she said, the masculine, the masculine, let me use him. So all those things that he might be saying that I do, yeah, he let me do it. He let me do all them things to him. Yeah, none of that. And she do got a point. She do got a point. None of this wouldn't happen if the masculine was not a willing participant. She do got a point. The masculine let me use him. So the masculine was a willing participant at one point of a time when he was ghosting you and he was trying to get all up in the ma in, in the comics business. At one point of a time, he did let the comic use him because if he wouldn't, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. But anyway. Oh, she said, I was so jealous of your relationship, Divine Feminine, that I broke it up. So I guess we have another comic that's jealous of the current relationship with the masculine. And she broke it up. See that thing called karma? When people do those things, they be ha ha, key key. And it's so funny when you over there talk about, I, I took your man, I took your man. But when it happened to you, 
you crying the blues and all of these things. You praying to God that you don't continue to get your karma. But when you was doing those things, oh, you was this bad bitch that was taking another bitch man. Now that it's happened to you, you want all Holy Mary, um, St. Benedict, and all the goddamn angels to come for your ass, to feel for your healing, to feel for your heart, because it's broken right now. But you ain't feel that way when you purposely did it to Divine Feminine, so I don't feel shit for you, bitch. Hurt. That's your business. Pain, that's your business. Because you the one, you could have chose not to do that to Divine Feminine, but you didn't. So, whatever come to you, that's what come to you. Because you had a choice whether or not to deal with somebody that you knew was in a relationship. And you chose to do it, so you chose the pain that you get now. Okay. And Divine Masculine said, I don't hit women, but I want to fuck you up. I don't hit women, but I want to fuck you up. Because you star shit, you always into shit, you like to argue, and all those things. I don't fight women, but I want to fuck you up. Hey! And Divine Masculine said, uh, he know that shit is falling apart, and he know that you are a bottom feeder bitch. Bottom feeder bitch. Okay, where the comic said, you know she a bottom feeder bitch. She said she believed nothing that you say out your mouth masculine. Your mouth is not a prayer book. She also says that she know she have spiritual demons. And this is why she cannot do anything because her ass is blinded by social media. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. What else you want us to know? Ooh. Oh, no, that's too many. Mm-mm. No, no, don't. That's, that's too many. No, that's, that's too many. Okay. So, hmm. And this came in reverse. No willpower to do better. So, we have one that is codependency, has codependency on her current relationships, and she has no, no, no ambition to do better. And she's, dr she's triggered by regret. She's triggered by regrets. And we have this masculine over here that now knows, did this bitch put a spell on me? I can't have sex. Ooh. Did this bitch put a spell on me so I can't... Ooh. Did this bitch put a spell on me so I can't have sex? So, the comic is currently in the energy where she probably know about this third party. So, she back at it again. Back at it again with her damn spells trying to stop the masculine from having sex with other women that he's currently in and currently part in third parties with. And I am going to leave you with that one. If you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your comments. All of your inspiring words and your laughs and you telling me I am funny and all those things. I am glad to make you all laugh and I am glad to come to you all when I can and be a damn fool. Have a good one. If you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe. Okay, we know this thing won't do it today because that's what happened.